This here is a yellow fig variety that doesn't produce a lot of figs. And I am gonna graft in a Texas Everbearing purple fig that bears a lot of big fat figs on this section of it. I'll leave the rest of it yellow figs. I've done a couple of purple grafts here and there on the branches, but I'm gonna do a big cleft graft and show you how to do that. It's kind of cool. All right. We have to split this. This is really hard wood. So we're going to do it the ugly way. Hammer into it. There we go. Get a little chunk out of there. We'll inoculate it. Now here and here are where we're going to put on our cyan wood and hopefully we'll be able to just pull this out. I'm going to leave it in here on the tip so it's split, still keeping it open. There we go. Very important to make sure those edges line up in there or else it won't take. So you've got to have a pretty flat, straight surface with still a strip of bark on here. Make it go. And it's got to touch well on at least one side. When we take that knife out, that should pinch together and fit. There we go, there's one. Alright, now I gotta do the other one. one of these fails, the other one should still take. You do two. I'm going to make it the top of the tree. All right. pinched in there. I know that looks insane. Could really use duct tape or something to do this. There we go. That's the first bit of it. Now it's astounding to think that just that little bit of bark contact will take, but I've done this before and had it take. It doesn't always take, but you can always saw it off and do it again if it doesn't. You just gotta really make sure that it uh, all gets coated so it doesn't dry out. 
and that cambium layer, which is the cell layer just beneath the bark, will join together and grow and fix it. Really amazing, actually. And I'm gonna make sure that I coat the split down the side too, so it doesn't dry out in there. There we go. Crazy, huh? <laughs> and that ought to do it. Now we just have to wait a few weeks and see if it takes. You can lose your fear. You can lose your fear of grafting.